Hi, I'm Adam with Permobile. We are the world leader in providing advanced rehab mobility solutions and accessories. From the very beginning, our founder, Dr. Per Uden, has asserted that every disabled person has the right to have his or her handicap compensated as far as possible by aids with the same technical standards as those we all use in our everyday lives. And from 1967 until today, that has been our goal. As a manufacturer, increasingly we've relied on technologies such as infrared or Bluetooth in order to help our clients interact with their environments or make use of their smart devices such as phones or tablets. Today though, I'd like to talk about a commercially available device called the Amazon Echo. The Echo is essentially a Bluetooth speaker that is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi and it allows someone to perform any number of different tasks from turning on and off their lights to controlling their thermostat or even having a book read to them using simply voice commands. Since the Amazon Echo responds to voice commands, I have placed it rather centrally in my home between my kitchen, my dining room, and my living room so that regardless of where I am at in the house, the Amazon Echo can hear me. Additionally though, it does come with a handy remote that includes a speaker button that can be depressed so that you can activate the Echo from anywhere in the house. Let's take a look at just some of the different tasks that you can accomplish using voice control with the Amazon Echo. Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? In Colfax, it's 73 degrees with clear skies and sun. Today, you can look for some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 52 degrees. Sounds like it's going to be some nice weather. Um, Alexa, uh, give me my news briefing for the day. Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News from TuneIn. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear. Alexa, Hillary Clinton is stop. So you can set uh, what news services you want to hear from, whether it's the AP or NPR or Reuters or, or, or any of these others. We could also have Alexa read a book to us. Uh, many people have difficulties uh, holding a book, physically turning the pages. So we could say, Alexa, read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling, reading from Kindle. Harry Potter is too good to Dobby. He squeaked, wiping large tears out of his enormous eyes. You saved my life with that jellyweed, Dobby. You really did, said Harry. No Alexa, chance more of those. Stop. So as you can see, she does a pretty good job. Any of your Kindle books, she will read for you. You can also have her read audiobooks uh, if you have an Audible subscription. Uh, obviously, at that point, it's going to be professionally done, uh, sometimes with special effects and the like. Uh, but she does a generally good job with Kindle books, just as is. Um, another thing that you can do is you can use her for shopping. You can add things to your shopping list. Alexa, please add coffee to my shopping list. I've added coffee to your shopping list. But you can also have her order directly from Amazon for you. So if you have certain items that you want to keep in, in stock, you can have her place orders that will restock those items for you. They'll show up right at your doorstep. For people who can't easily leave the home to go out shopping, you can use the Amazon Echo to order directly and have it delivered straight to your doorstep. It's very, very handy that way. Um, in addition to some of these sorts of things, uh, you, you can have her play music for you. Alexa, play the Beatles. Shuffling the Beatles from Prime Music. Alexa, what song am I listening to? This is Martha, my dear, from the Beatles, the White Album ah, by the very Beatles. Good. The White Album. Alexa, next. There we go. Alexa, stop. 
You can also control the volume simply by telling her to turn the volume up or down. You can have her pause and then resume when she's reading to you or when she's playing music. Um, all in all, a very handy device, and we haven't really even gotten into how uh, the Amazon Echo can be used to control uh, smart devices in your home to allow for your home uh, to be independently controlled just by voice control when it comes to lights, thermostats, fans, door locks, uh, and the like. Let's look at some of those things. So this is the B 3 smart thermostat. Um, it is a thermostat that is designed to interact with the Amazon Echo device, um, as will the Nest smart thermostat and several other smart thermostats from other manufacturers. Um, as you can see, it is currently set uh, to hold at 75 degrees on the uh, AC setting. Um, let's go ahead and give it a command using the Amazon Echo to demonstrate how voice controls can be used to control this thermostat. Alexa, please set my thermostat to 73 degrees. Setting thermostat AC to 73. As you can see there, the little bubble has just changed to 73 degrees. We have a note that is now at 73 degrees and holding. It will hold in that position um, until the next regularly scheduled time or uh, until we change it by giving it a new command. It can also be set uh, for a range uh, of temperatures, uh, turning on heat and cool as necessary. Um, this is a really great option for people who lack the ability to interact directly uh, with the touch screen. So moving from the hallway where the thermostat was uh, into the living room, uh, we can also use the Amazon Echo to control the lights. So we can say, Alexa, turn on the living room. Okay. And there you go. Uh, we can also use her to set um, how bright the lights are. Alexa, set living room lights at 50%. Okay. Now I'm using the Philips Hue bulbs in combination with uh, the Amazon Echo device. There's lots of smart bulbs and smart hubs that are available for in your home uh, to allow you to have independent control of your lights. Alexa, turn off living room. Okay. There you go. Um, you can set up multiple devices. Uh, Alexa, turn on lamp. Alexa, turn on lamp. Okay. And there you go. Um, as you can see, she hears very, very well, even from a variety of places in the house. Every once in a while, she will miss a command, or if you have lots of people talking at once, it can be a little bit much. Um, that's where the included remote does come in handy. Let's also take a look at how you can use a connected outlets, uh, smart outlets to control other devices in the home. Follow me. This is my entry room. Uh, as you can see, we have a Wemo uh, smart outlet plugged in um, with a, a fan attached. So let's go ahead and use the Echo to turn on the fan. And we will just say, Alexa, turn on entry. Okay. And there you go. We could have a fan, a light, anything that operates off of an outlet plugged in uh, to this uh, smart outlet. Alexa, turn off entry. Okay. And just like that. One of the other things you can use the Amazon Echo for is to create reminders or add something to your task list. You can even use it to set timers. Alexa, set a timer for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, starting now. You can create multiple timers if necessary, and you can even use what's called if this, then that protocols so that when the timer goes off, she sends a command to your lights so that your lights also flash. 
um, giving you a visual cue that the timer is going off. This can be a super useful uh, tool for people with uh, auditory impairments um, as even if there's activity, even if they don't hear the timer, they can certainly see the lights flashing. Alexa, timer off. As you can see, there are many different ways of utilizing the Amazon Echo in order to be more independent with all sorts of different tasks around the house. Uh, it seems like almost on a weekly basis, new uh, smart home devices are being added that the Amazon Echo can control. Um, along with new apps, new protocols. Um, it, it, it's a device that's going to continue to give people more and more options for how they control their home in the future. Everything from uh, even, even smart locks are being created now um, where you can use the Amazon Echo to lock or unlock your front door remotely um, or you can have it tied to your phone so that as you enter a certain area it will automatically unlock the door for you. Uh, the, the, the possibilities are absolutely endless and we're only going to see more and more of this technology being utilized as time moves forward. So thanks for your time. Thanks for letting me share with you uh, some of the different options that are available using a commercial device and voice controls in order to control your world.